Hi, welcome to this Red Short. I'm Lewis from the Red Design Team, and today I'm here to talk to you about the tides. It's incredibly important to understand the tides before heading out onto the water, as this will ensure your safety, as well as making sure you have a great time, not putting yourself or anyone else in any unnecessary danger. So let's talk through a few things to consider. Within a 24 hour period, there are typically two high tides and two low tides, meaning that each tidal phase lasts roughly six hours. And there can be a huge amount of water movement in this time. A tidal cycle follows a bell-shaped curve, and at the start and at the end of each phase, this is when the current is at its weakest. At the mid-tide, however, this is when the current is at its strongest, and we want to avoid paddling at this time. We do need to check the tides each time before heading out, as they do change daily. Boats and moorings on waterways should be seen as hazards. We need to steer clear of these. Fast-flowing sections of water should also be avoided, as this will affect your balance and the control of your board. So, to summarise, avoid paddling at mid-tide, as this is when the current is at its strongest. Steer clear of boats and moorings, and avoid paddling through fast-flowing sections of water. But remember, we need to check the tide times before paddling out, to ensure we have a great experience.